<laughs> False start there. Hello, hello. Welcome to Games Revisited, episode 12 of our playthrough, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. A little slapdash towards the end there, running a little late today. Sorry about that. I still managed to start on time. Not without issue, though. So... Originally, we were going to do some racing last week, and instead we ended up moving on to Kashyyyk. And we are in the middle of a very terrible scene, a very terrible thing. It seems that our compatriot's brother has been selling off his people to Zerka Corp and banishing people who wanted to stop that, or killing him, or both. Uh, so, we're going to have to clean up a few things. So, hopefully, today we'll be able to finish our free Kashyyyk movement. And, uh, we should pick up the last member of our crew while we're here, too. And, uh, a few other things we got going. So, let's go ahead and get this loaded in. I did do a little bit of research. There are a couple other minions that will have things for me, but I'm just not at a place where they're going to uh, tell me that yet. All right, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> All right, that is the Chieftain's Hall where we just came from. So we're going to start talking to some Wookiees because one of these Wookiees has a side quest for us while we're down there to go find a missing Wookiee. And uh, hopefully, we <laughs> how many times can we say Wookiee? <laughs> and hopefully um, we'll, we'll be able to improve our standing with the village a couple of times over. Fine. Be like that about it. You've been given a task, outsider. Be thankful for your time in our world and do as you've been told. There's no don't make me wookie slap you. Although, I wouldn't take that option anyway. I think that's when I need HK. <laughs> I love having him around, but man. Uh, he doesn't help a whole lot of situations. All right. what is it? Everybody's just wookie. Like, generic wookie number 82. Right. Fine, fine. Alright, you won't speak to me either. What about you? Uh, fine. Okay, none of you have it. Any guards? What about that? Nope. Alright, um... How about you, Wandering Wookiee number 82? Uh, you won't speak to me either. I feel sad. Huh. Well, no one's going to talk to me to say otherwise, right? Alright, uh... I'm pretty sure I don't want to go down there just yet. Uh, let's check out the rest of the village. Uh, ah. well, for somebody who doesn't want to speak with me, we're uh, in speaking mode. So, <laughs> believe me, human outsider. <laughs> I go where I wish. Will you stop me? <laughs> no. Tempting, but no. Uh, I would like to ask you some questions. Hello. How are you doing today? All right. Right now I'm being yelled at by a Wookiee about exploitation. <laughs> because I demand it. No. Um, I'd say I travel with a Wookiee. I am a friend, but I know that he is not on everybody's good list. So I'm pretty sure that's not the tack I want to take. Uh, let's try... I am not sure. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for that. I, I hope it's a quality stream. There, there are some days that I wonder. <laughs> Alright, 
I shall believe it when I see it. I will speak with you, but do not mistake that for trust. Um, hmm. well, let's start with the simple questions. Why do your readers allow you? What right do you have? Oh, okay. We're, we're seriously going? Okay. What right do you have to question Chundar? Um, <laughs> well, tell me so that I might understand. Because I'm pretty sure calling you a primitive is not going to help get answers. Your interest is surprising. I had not thought an outsider would care. Still, I shouldn't talk of our troubles. <laughs> it is a fun game. Chandar is our leader and deserving of respect, even with our doubts. Dude, he's selling your people off. Uh, hmm. Who would you rather have as a leader? What if I told you he's... Alright, so... I'm tempted to go, what if I told you Chundar's in league with the slavers, but she already doesn't believe me. Or he. I, I can't really... I couldn't... I'm not sure. Um... What if I told you Chandra was in... I don't think they're going to believe me. Who would you rather have might be nice, although the Force Persuade kind of gets me... <laughs> cuts to the chase a little bit quicker. I just don't know if Bastil is going to be mad about me doing that. Bastil can be mad about me doing that. <laughs> I should tell Sara. We whisper it anyway. Everyone wonders. Thunder has done much. He keeps the slavers from the village. <laughs> Rules fairly. Sure. Keeps order. And then he keeps filling up order for uh, heavy labor, right? But his father was better. Yeah, the, the original is usually better than the sequel. Where the chieftain would not have allowed the slaver docking plat. Seriously? Out of everything, you're mad about the platform? Okay. Um. When did Freyr die? Oh, thank you for the follow! And after the mad son, Zalvar was sent away. Freyr seemed to succumb to the same kind of. Ooh. Same kind of insanity. He didn't like uh, people getting sold off. And has bravely risen to lead us, despite his troubles. Um, hmm. What if... Alright, let's... Maybe we built up enough trust? What if I told you he was in league with the slaves? Yeah, you're not going to believe me. I, I kind of... I kind of thought that might be the case, but I was hoping for better. Alright. Would you rather have his leader? The coming of Baka's heir. Mm. There's one left that is willing to stand up at the... Well, I, I'm pretty sure. There's probably a couple, but... Alright, what do you mean by that? The ancient Baka was our greatest leader. At his death, he swore that his spirit would live in true chieftains. His sword would be the sun. Oh, so we're going all Arthurian here on this. Well, why not? We, we seem to have had enough uh, legends and things. No one has seen the blade for years. I'll probably find it in a stone. I mean, it is a foolish hope. We now follow Chandra. He is sane and honorable. Well, I, don't, I don't know about the honorable part. He may be sane, but I don't know about the honorable part. Alright, let's go back to my previous questions. You're gonna yada yada. Man. Any, any recent trouble other than the slavers? Right, here's the quest that I was hoping to trying to find. Another of our people is missing. If the slavers are responsible, more would have disappeared. It may be that he died in the Shadowlands. If he did, there's honor in that, and he will be more. Oh. Put 
in his home on the central platform on the village. Alright, uh... Let's see if they know anything about the star map while we're at it. I don't know anything about it, anything like that, but I don't understand your body bond fools. Okay. Let's see. Chunder wants me to find an insane weapon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Body. Body bald fools. <laughs> Be merciful and quick. Won't you without the honor of self-control is a mere honor. Hmm. The three... <laughs> oh. Oh. Seriously? Okay, I think we've exhausted this conversation tree. Let's go ahead and uh, move along to the people on vigil because, uh, yeah, you just told me to assassinate my traveling companion. Alright. Oh, of course she has something on her mind. Perhaps I should talk to her about it. Alright, what do you I have help? to say? Alright, you're Am curious I so about something? I suppose I shouldn't <laughs> yeah, be Yeah, HK can help me with that, too. <laughs> yes. There is right. something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. Okay. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Ladies and gentlemen, that is not how to win a conversation. Go In ahead. our time together, I've been watching you. You are a true you've servant been watching of the light. Me. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite well, the Lord mostly true the servant side. of the light. I do have a couple other so points. Training. For me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? Well, you know. Uh... Oh no. It's a struggle for me. That's a relief to hear. <laughs> I've never found the Jedi path. It is such a struggle, especially when you it's get HK you know, whispering in I've the back of your head and going, you know, I, I could just assassinate him for you. Too quick to get involved. Would you like my me to eliminate the meat bag? Me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can um. use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so curious. This does not seem... Yet we are uh, told that these feelings hmm. are the path to the dark side. <laughs> yeah. Please don't fall yes, on me. Of course, uh, I would right. like to have the full strength of my party I when I get to the end. Training. The masters know well the corrupting influence of the dark side. Although it is hard for me to imagine the very thought that I could become as evil as Malak. I just can't fathom yeah, it. Yeah, Malak didn't think he could go that evil How until he did. No. And Revan didn't think he could become that evil be until he did. The Jedi and I'm pretty sure if we go through the lore, we'll find you a few me. more that, you know, weren't evil until they were. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, what? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. Okay. Huh. Alright, uh, I'm get mad if I loot this basket. I mean, it's just sitting out here all public and stuff. If you didn't want me to, you know, gather resources. Alright, uh, is this the house? Do the great walkway. No. The, okay, this is where I entered in originally before I was taken to the Chieftain's Hut. Uh, where is this dude's house? You guys aren't going to talk to me. We established that early on. 
looking at the map and I'm pretty sure Is that the house that's over on this side? Okay, that's the house that's over on this side. Before I forget, let me check with these three just to see if they're gonna... Yep. seem to have talking. All right, let's go check out the house. All right, so these are the people who are supposedly mourning the missing Wookiee, and they should have more information. Except they're going to break me about being an outsider, not welcome. Uh, <laughs> show a little respect. Yeah, that's the easy way to get people. No, no, that doesn't work either. All right. I want to ask you. Go and learn which can while bleeding our planet. Oh, it's people and honor. I thought you guys were supposed to be helpful. Can we ask if they've seen you? They understand us. Most outsiders don't bother to learn our language. It isn't an yes, easy language please. to learn, what with all the growls and howls. Big Z told me the whole point was to make it difficult for outsiders to understand. <laughs> I will not speak to them and neither will you. Um, but I thought you wanted help. Yeah. Anime lover, I am doing a late side playthrough. And... Alright, maybe I talked to the wrong person? Alright. Let me try talking to the other person just to see if that doesn't help. <laughs> I've never spoken to an outsider. Chunder makes us learn to understand you, but I've never been this close. Well, I mean, you know. What are you doing here? Have you come to laugh at us? Gloat? <laughs> okay, yes. I'm not attempting. I am succeeding at the light. But, uh, let's just say that it's not as clear-cut and easy a path. <laughs> Sometimes, I kind of wish it was a dark side playthrough, just to make life a little easier. Alright, I understand, I'm not here as a slaver. Well, thank you. It took us this long to get to the question. Why are you here? <laughs> That's what I was trying to ask you about. Why do you keep saying you slavers? Okay, now that you're a slaver. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. I haven't slept much. Do I... <laughs> I know that one. Alright. When did he go missing? Stop bothering the boy. He doesn't need you taunting him. Taunting? I'm trying to help you guys. You're serious. This is what I get for trying to help. Thank you. I might know something. Well, I don't know anything. But I could help. Steal and lie and take the best among us. But it taint me. Outside, you talk to me if you must bother us at all. Leave me alone. Uh, that hunting parties of the Shadowlands? You even fought outsiders? Like you probably are. Seriously, dude. Deal with the slaver bit. Okay, good. And you can't tell me when he went missing? Seriously. Help me help you. How long are we gonna do this having Costello routine before you just tell me? Yeah, help. Look at me. Yada yada. I, I get the feeling we've had this part of the conversation before. You know what? 
I'll see what I can find. I, I'm not retreading that ground again. Let's head back out and let's see where's the dude who's gonna lower us down. Hey Bastila, you ever use the forest just for fun? You know, oh, no. a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off. I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. I, the mere thought of it's preposterous. Think about it. Oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. Well, I merely I have the that. years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> what the? Hey, that wasn't funny. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I mean, I, I was paying no attention whatsoever, and I have no idea what just happened. Alright. Uh, get back to my map, because that's... That's the holder of the laws. Alright. Let's see if the holder of the laws has anything useful. Mr. Oki, you will not speak to me. And you unnamed with me. You will not speak to me. And good sir. Okay. Fine. Is that the door? That's the door. Hello, holder of the law. <laughs> Hello, outsider. I heard you. I trust you won't cause trouble. Well. I don't always cause trouble, but it seems to follow me. Now, can I ask some questions? Don't really want to speak to me. Okay. Nothing? Well, okay. Unless you tell me we're young. Sorry, I can't roll my R's like that. What did you go missing? Ten days, huh? Uh, was the hunter the hunted? I, I hear there's some pretty big predators down below. It's strange. Why do you think it's strange? I don't believe he's taken by the slavers. Slave transports haven't been seen around here. Was it slavers? Perhaps he fell in the Shadowlands, but he knew them well. I search, but I don't know where to start. Your days of hunting the lower forest are behind. I could look for him. <laughs> well, if you stop yelling at outsiders and be all be gone, outsider. You might get some help from outsiders a little more frequently, huh? You will. Alright, let's double check. Do we. Oh, no. Uh, Alright, so we've had that with Karth, Juhani. Okay. Okay, so we do have a wiki lost and a chieftain in need. We should have all the questicles we need to collect before heading down. And we gotta do a little backtracking to make this happen. That's a dead end. Maps, maps everywhere. Alright. Hello, people who won't talk to me. Oh, did I miss that the first time? Apparently not. Alright, and that's the chieftain's hut. Is not where I want to be. I need 
need to go back through the gate, don't I? Speaking of HK, I'm wondering if I ought not take somebody with a little bit... <laughs> a little bit better shooting than, uh... Mission. The only problem is... Whole thing's for, uh... Z, her buddy. Alright, you know what? I would much prefer to have somebody with a little more... Fight in them. I haven't actually used her all that much. I should probably do something about that. Because I'm pretty sure you get to do a little more work with them before they'll uh, start talking to you about various things. Alright, to the Great Walkway. Are you going to be all be gone, Outsider? Okay, okay. I'll watch my stuff. Takes you a long time to say something so short. Alright. Oh, I was kind of hoping some of the uh, enemies would respawn so that way we could, you know, break out a little more XP. He asked, is this light or dark? That's why these metal boxes have remained unlocked. Because I'm attempting a light. Oh! Hello! Let you two catch up a little bit more. Alright, so... What are you Alright. You guys aren't doing all that much, are you? Ooh. You are. He's power attacking. Alright. Why not? Didn't she have, uh... I thought she had Whirlwind. Apparently not. <laughs> There we go. Hello, XP. Alright. That'll work. Nothing to loot, though. That's the sad part. Surely there's got to be something I can get off of there, right? Make a survival check. Oh, wait, no, that's regular D&D. &D. That's right, I had searched that corpse earlier. So, I guess it is off to talk to the Wookiee guard? We gonna have trouble? Okay. Lower me down. Of course. This is an outsider thing, isn't it? <laughs> Path the soul of muse and maybe vermin nesting. Be ready to fight. I was born ready. I also had the sudden urge to save a game. You know, just in case. Episode 12. There we go. Which way do I want to go? Oh, hello. Uh, let's see if I can get you in a force whirlwind. Let's get you close. Right. Oh. You know, it's hard to beat a party of full Jedi's. I say that now, but uh, I'm sure somebody will show me. But it might not be that easy. I'm looking forward. Let's see. More vermin. 
Let's get that going. Let's queue those up. Bam. And everybody's health seems okay. Yes. There we go. Everybody's health is okay. I like that. I'm moving forward. They're seriously going to make me walk this far as part of the outside thing? Outsider thing? Alright, come on. Let's go help the, uh, Wookiee's little smackdown on these people. The Force ah. fights with me! That is the Jedi what do you want? I will not let you follow us on the boat. Dude, I just bailed you out. <laughs> Don't test me, Wookie. I go where I wish. Oh no. I don't mean you any harm. Did, did you not seriously see me come in and help you out? Look, if I wanted you as a trophy, I would have hit you while your back was to me. Uh, let's try a regular Persuade. Not my strong suit, but... No. I don't even work with Zerka. Come on. Scent poison. A scent poisons the air? Listen, Furball. For a group of people that don't shower that much, you are not one to talk about scents filling the air. Sure I can't retry that persuade. Oh, fine. All right, just which way is out, dude? The rest of your party abandoned you too. I'd be mad about that. You want to talk about it? Yeah, surely. This seems like an awfully empty walkway. I mean, we hit the occasional critter here or there, but, um... This is feeling kind of empty. I'm just saying. Alright, uh... Alright, you're probably the person who's gonna lower me down. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh. That looks tasty. Anything further down the walkway before I go? Nope. Okay. Show me the way. Gar has commanded that I grant you access to the Shadowlands. Gary is what I'm called. <laughs> Walk with Gary. Only our bravest return from these lands. Soft feet? So, okay, so first it is bald body fools, and now it's soft feet? I really want to go just unlock the thing and lower me down, but let's see if he'll answer any questions. <laughs> it Cheddar doesn't say much. Uh, has anyone else been allowed down recently? I feel like... Alright. So there are some other people down in the Shadowlands. Need to be mindful. Fine, fine, fine. I just want to, you know. Uh, all right. I really want to try a regular persuade because I don't want to piss those two off. Of course, if I carried Candorus and HK with me, I wouldn't have to worry about pissing my party off. All right, force persuade. Some of us that have gone to the Shadowlands, they're going to Alright, 
Bears are missing man. He has not returned in many days. He may have died, but he is strong and able. If he was that strong and able, he would be missing. Many have died recently. Chandra believes one of our own is below, mad, crazed, killing all. Hmm. We find new bodies to examine. Catalines claim it. Well, so we don't claim them. That's for sure. Alright, um... I wonder if he'll actually answer that question. I'm genuinely curious. Why do you look at Fine. Don't tell me. It's all the outsiders don't understand. You don't understand. So tell me. Alright. What outsiders are below? For reasons I... And there are those who are circuit among the shadows. They kill much. And there's another, but he has earned respect. He does not disturb our lives or customs. And he gets angry like a wiki sometimes. Good to know. His name hurts my tongue. He's lived alone in the shadows for many years now. That's right. That's our boy Joe Lee. Alright, uh... Back to my other questions. <laughs> Be brief, I'm not sure you Well, thank you for that. I appreciate the help. I want to ask if it's dangerous down there. Yeah, I think I know it's dangerous down there. Everybody's talked about how dangerous it is down there. Alright, just unlock the thing lower me down. The descent is long. Be still, or we will attract unwelcome visitors. As opposed to the welcome visitors? Because I'm a visitor, and I'm not feeling all that welcome. I'm just saying. Like... <laughs> Oh, it's one of those video things, and it's not showing on the stream. All right, you're not missing much. I'll narrate the silent blackness. You're standing on a raft, getting lowered down through the trees. There. That is the impressive video that needed to be switched away <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> Sometimes it's killing me with this stuff, man. All right. Oh, critters. All right. Oh, hey, I noticed you got the double-bladed sword out all of a sudden. Could that be a hint? All right, let's start getting our bearings. Let's run around a little bit, try to clear out some of this map. I don't know anybody I could, uh, you know, persuade to give me a map. No? Okay. There's nothing here. Oh! Well... Let's see how many of these things we can do. Zabrik Tysteel Mark Three and a Krath Double Sword. Ooh. Okay. I thought that was the course for these guys there, but no, nothing. Nothing. Can't even get a tooth for my collection or something. All right. Oh, hey. Come on, the guys use brains uh, I need for, uh, what's his name? Griff. Hello, good sir. Damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. 
<laughs> what, do I have to fight you as well now? No. Who are you? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bender. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Well, now look at me. <laughs> I'm grab off the no. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That could be nice. Oh, don't run off too far. I had to loot the bodies. I had to. I promise. Right. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. I really wish there was a way to force pull a stump over here so I could do just that. <laughs> uh, three ways to say I have better things. Hmm. Okay, Don't tell coddle me. me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Oh, I have questions. All right, let me start with you. What is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in a dangerous woods. And one letter off I'm from the Dolly Parton song. I give. Um. <laughs> yeah, that would be the simplest thing to say. You use the lightsaber. You're a Jedi. Yeah, there, are, there are some people who have managed it. Did I? Not many. <laughs> Not many that aren't named Lefty matter. for good reason. Those but, days um. are gone. Leave them in their graves. <laughs> I've seen my share of the dark and the light. Frankly, both extremes annoy me. Yes, I have felt rumblings of change. I do not feel a taint of the dark side within you, old man. I sense you are a servant of the light, whether you will admit it or not. Well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man, tired of the <laughs> foolishness of others. All right. So what are the fine, questions? Fine, just be brief. Is it with everybody going? Yeah. Fine, fine. I don't want to stand here and talk to you. All right. Yes, the Wookies, problems? intriguing creatures. I like that they have little patience for bureaucrats. But of course, even here, there are you hidden things that you both. Even here, there are hidden things. Uh, hmm. All right. Let me ask about the missing Wookie it's a first. Very unfortunate matter. It will end in shame and sorrow. You will find roar war down here. And more. Oh. I've witnessed a number of happenings, but I've left them for others to see. Okay. <laughs> you know, you aren't being very helpful. But something tells me saying that out loud is also going to not be very helpful. Alright, so what about a crazed woman? Maddened with grief, perhaps, but not crazed. I helped him pass to the lower forest where only a Wookiee could follow. Some other matters will determine if you can follow. There is a bad We'll talk of that more in a moment. Okay. We know it's Circle similar. Corporation was smart to put him in power. He's as good at destroying Wookiee culture as dropping corpses full of Ardroxian flu. Will you work for him or against him, I wonder? I will be interested to see. Okay. You don't have a recommendation? Sure. How's this? Think for yourself. I don't care for politics. Yes. I'm big on letting people figure things out. Will you please themselves. join my party? The Wookies have prophecies. That's politics. exactly what I want. That kind of light-sided, smart ass agree. That is their wish. All right. So I asked about those. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. Fine, fine, so you're gonna go fine, fine. Just be brief. We got the problems on Kashik. We get about him. So let's say, uh, have you any knowledge of the Star Maps? The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. But 
I did it all for the Wookie. For the Wookie. <laughs> Kashyyyk is an interesting place. More so than anyone suspects. If Circa sure Corporation okay. knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees well, have I'm surprised Zerka hasn't turned every planet into a strip mine. Let's be honest here. The trees themselves are strangers. Uh... Can you be a little what more specific? What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to go with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I will admit number three has a certain appeal to me. Can't I just pay you? I hate jumping through hoops. Uh, let's lay it on thick with the honor. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but nice. I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding to the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. Oh. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Okay. Uh, that is a good question. Why not get rid of them yourself? Don't talk back to your elders. Look, oh, seriously? You, you're well. going to give me the, the don't lay on the elder stuff, but the you know, when it's convenient, it's going to be don't talk back. It would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone. But with as little fuss as possible, they've already caused enough trouble as okay. it is. As little fuss as possible, huh? And where are they? are not that far to the east here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. Okay. The captain of the lot is the one that earned so my So should I get my, uh, Mandalorian my and Assassin Druid and, you know, take care of it with no fuss? This <laughs> out of my garden. Okay. Then, I... Uh, Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoot! Shoot! Oh. Seriously? Alright, let's see. How much of this map? We gotta go to the northeast? Alright. Guys, we gotta see if we can find somebody that's got some of the attack plans. Cause... And if there's somebody to shut those things up... Ooh. Some rubble that we missed looting. Alright, let's get to the in a minute. Uh concussion grenade. Okay. Of course, I don't know if it's because they're immune or Okay, I, I guess we're sure. I would have thought more things to do. Certainly looks like it. Seriously. All right. That is what I said I would. Oh. Uh, there is a Wookiee corpse, though. That doesn't sound good. Slaver contract, bowcaster, bowcaster bolt casing. Okay. Well, I get a bad feeling about this, but. Found the corpse of the mid. Oh, okay. He dealt with slavers. And a bolt casing that probably belongs to whoever killed him. Uh oh. Alright. Check out this data pad real quick. Show show me the new items. Oh, you're going to show me all this stuff that I really didn't need. Yes, I have a couple of short lightsabers. Thank you for that. Ooh, I forgot that I had those uh, upgrade crystals. I'll have to remember to take care of that. Blaster pistol does 3 to 10. I bet there's somebody that can make use of that. 
Blaster cannon. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's right. I, I bought that. I was going to give it to uh, HK. Dark Jedi Knight robes, some combat suits. Kind of low defense bonuses, but uh, I'm sure they're worth some credits or something, right? There we go. Flavor contract. This data pad card contains a contract to trade weapons for slaves. And a manifest of goods already delivered, it would seem that Rar had sold a number of Wookiees and intended to do so again. Yikes. Okay, so Mr. Uh, strong and Tough and Honorable in Battle is not. That's a shame. This bolt casing was abandoned next to Rara's corpse, likely by whoever killed him. Bow casters and the accompanying bolt casings are very personal items among the Wookiees and are adorned with traditional family symbols and other identifying marks. It is possible the owner of this one could be identified by a knowledgeable Wookiee. So, roll knowledge Wookiee. Is that what I heard? I think that's what I heard. Alright. Made a little progress, so I'm going to do this real quick, because it seems we're all a bit peckish. And before I go any further, let's go ahead and save that progress. Because it would be a shame if something untoward were to happen. I mean, we're a decent sized party of Jedi, so I don't, I don't see what untoward's going to happen, but it would be a shame if that happened. Come on. Uh, is this the party? This is the party. I am tempted to try to recover them so I could sell them for the credits, but uh, I'm pretty sure my skill is not that high, so. Go ahead and. Oh, thank the awareness. Alright, um. Where's the uh, disarm option? Who are you, another fine. civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back to oh, okay then. Mess with my profit, and I'll see you dead. Dude. I mean... I didn't exactly pay the docking fee. Uh, he technically told me I didn't need to. That, that's almost the same thing, right? Alright, uh, you know what? Let me ask. Crazy old fool is still alive. I suppose he's so upset that we don't all live in little homemade shacks like you choose. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or the old creep can do about it. Oh, there's something I can do about it. If I wanted to do Is that old planet Goldie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? You spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitter keeps the threads away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. If you make it this some? far, you know a fair bit already. What would I be able to tell you? Is there anything odd Besides down here? You? Besides oh, any gosh. number of predators that can kill in seconds? I suppose there's old Bindo. He's got a camp here somewhere. I'd leave him. He, you just Anyone who lives down something. here is just plain crazy. There's not much else. Okay. We've got a repulsive field to the east, so not much passes through here now. Uh. You're fighting the plants as well as the animals. Kashi vines are tough as metal and grow back fast. Instead, head office installed repulsive fields to keep the big predators out. Hmm. Permanent placements too. We'll be fine for years. If okay. you made it this far, you know a fair bit. 
That's a good question. No, I don't do much of that. It's too much of a headache. I'm in the business of harvesting animals. Oh. Some of the more exotic species have organs that can be removed and put to some surprising applications. Talk to me about work and maybe I'll turn you on. Oh, you know, I'm done talking to you. I'm not to down you. here to direct traffic. Oh, hush. I will end you. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. All right. Why are Why you am here? I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stay. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this event. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. <laughs> this is a dangerous place. Could I persuade no more you to dangerous leave? than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for his damn orders. That is tempting. That would be the short way. Alright, uh, let's try I'm not other here questions. I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter, and that's it. Talk to the commander. Alright, uh, what are They you generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. So only the emitters are keeping you So if someone shut them down, you could leave? I don't like being here, that's for sure. <laughs> I suppose you could take this code to shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down, the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Well then. Alright. Memory function. <laughs> okay. Well, that's one down. How many more of these things do I got to turn off? Although, let me, uh, I, really, I didn't like having that mine back there, and I really, really wanted to disable that. I don't know why I, I wouldn't want, you know, a random mine just floating around behind me. Alright. Uh, what's in the box? Arts. Motion detection goggles, repair kits, and red packs, and yes, please. Alright, that's locked, that's locked. I may come back for those later. Let me first see if you I can. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our. Yeah, commander. I'd rather Why ask am I you. here? I'm here. I'm okay. just a guard for this emitter. Well, let's talk about What do you want to know about that? It's just one of. I don't like being down. here, that's for sure. I suppose you could <laughs> take this code and shut down the emitter Dude. I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters My persuade down, is so low that it speaks out, volumes that all I gotta do is, so what if you weren't here? And you go, you mean if you had this code of mine? <laughs> okay. Big scary run, run. ogre. Oh wait, wrong franchise. <laughs> Bravely run away, boys. Bravely run away. Alright. Uh. Alright. Alright, I'll get to that in a minute. Unless there's nobody here to complain. No Didn't work. Skill's too low. Right. I got your skill. Ah. Ooh, I needed one of those. I left my shopping list floating around here somewhere. I gotta figure out where I left no that problem. on my desk. Didn't work. Failure. Oh, I got your security code. 
Attack land, disrupt. Okay, good. I need those. I gotta head back to uh, Tatooine and drop those off with Griff. Assuming he's not lying about this. Okay, there we go. Those are empty. Now let's disable that mine. I'm kind of curious what else is floating around here in this area. Really would like the mines to go away too. Disable. I wouldn't mind a silence beastless thing too, because these guys are getting on my nerves. And they are seriously getting on my nerves. Alright. Yada yada yada. Tackity tack, don't talk back. Seriously, all these mines and that little critter running that close to it didn't trigger the mine? Hmm. I feel like I should be worried about that. <laughs> Stands in stark contrast. Okay, yeah. So this is the force field that Julie wants us to, or is willing to help us with. I feel like I should be singing Julie to the tune of Jolene. No, I won't do that to you. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Maybe another day. That would be if I was trying to do a dark side playthrough. Right. Tax stuff and dead wiki corpses. And what else do we have here? Let's check the map real quick. That's the hunting ground. There's Jolie's hut. Alright, that is the force field. I am curious what is further down in the south, though. Let's, uh,. Pick up Julie first, and then save. Where'd you go, old man? You gonna pull a Yoda like sitting around stealing my lunch kind of thing? Or welcome back. I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Uh, poachers are gone. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You smell interesting. Yeah, there's nothing to gain by killing them. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. <laughs> so is this nature red in tooth and claw? Uh, yes, of course. The star Let's get moving. Notice the old paths. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past hmm. the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. Ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you were seeking. I think he's in the mood for visitors. I have not yet seen a Wookiee that was in the mood for visitors. I'm just saying. All right. So, I have to take him with me, no matter what. Uh, I'm tempted to take Vassila because she is handy in a fight. Although I really need to work with some of these other yahoos a little bit more than I have been. Uh, hmm. HK would be fun. So would Candorous. Jahani will add an extra blade, but I get a funny feeling I wouldn't mind some distance support instead of having everybody up front and in their face. But uh, eh, let's go ahead and take Jahani. 
As I said, I haven't had a chance to... I haven't actually played with her all that much, and I really should. Ooh, I like XP. Oh, that's right. We gotta level Jolie up. So he can be on par with the rest of my crew. Oh, she also needs to level up. Alright, let's take care of you first, because you're going to be quicker. You are a guardian. So you need all the things that will help you kick butt and take names. Alright, so I could put that on uh, plus one in strength. It doesn't do anything immediately, but it will help for damage when I add another one to it. Because we're at level 11? 10. 10 or 11. Uh, I could bump up Dex, which will help with the uh, two hit, which is always good. Since we're going to be all up front, I can start working on bumping up that constitution, get some more hit points. Intelligence really isn't going to help you because Guardians get all of, like, a skill point, And um, they have a short, short, short list of skills. Uh, they, their job is not to work the skills, but to uh, beat the stuff between you and the places where you need to work the skills. <laughs> um, I am more than a little tempted to throw one more into Charisma. Because Charisma and Wisdom are used for all the Jedi skills. And it determines how many Force Points you have... And it'd be nice to be able to throw the saber a little bit more frequently or stun a little more frequently or do some of that that support, the, the force-based uh, combat support. Especially since with a dex of 16, the two hit is pretty good. And even though the strength is only 14, that's still enough damage, especially as long as we keep the lightsaber upgraded, at least as, as far as we can. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go for let's go for the extra points, and then the next two I'll dump into either con or um, dex. Okay, skills. Ooh, where will we put your two skill points? Hmm. Read injury and either awareness. Oh, stealth is a cross class skill. <laughs> okay, yep, nope. I guess you're going to be very aware. All right, because I want to keep that treat injury maxed out so that because that helps with all the uh, healing stuff. Ooh, you get a feat. You are a master of the force jump. Okay. Oh. Why have we not gone to the Master 2 up and fighting, especially especially with as you are right now? Because you've been doing all the two weapon stuff. Um, yeah, no, it's not even a contest. As much as I'd love to go further in the power attack bit, uh, that Master 2 weapon is way too, way too tasty. Because that... That gets rid of a lot of the negatives on attack and damage. Okay. Yes, please. Max out that two-weapon fighting. And what force power shall we get you? You've already got heal. Bumping that up to... Or, you've already got cure. Bumping that up to heal would be nice. Um... Because that's going to increase how much the heal is for. From 5 plus 1 for every Charisma, Wisdom, and level of the Force user to 10. And having multiple people able to heal is always nice. Uh, bumping that Force shield up to 12. Uh, or bumping that Force armor up. That's a plus 1 to defense. Uh, or plus 4 to defense to a plus 6. Always nice. I, I don't see the point in bumping up the speed tree. Uh, Valor, nice, but probably not. Resistance, nice, but probably not. Going from the energy resistance, that'd be a nice increase, but nah. Oh yeah, you've got slow from your brief uh, 
Entanglement with the dark side. Alright, stun to stasis. Eh. I wouldn't mind upgrading that force push to the whirlwind, though. That would be nice, but... I think we're okay on the offensive side. Let's bump that up to heal, just because I, I would like to have multiple people able to do some high-level healing. I suspect that as we get further along, that would be, uh, <laughs> would be very helpful. All right, and you're leveled up as you're going to be. All right. Mr. Jolie, you are a consular. That means you get force powers galore, relatively speaking. We're going to start you off at level 6. Alright, what skills do you have anyway? Treat injury and awareness. And you get a skill point. Dude. Alright, let's bump up your treat injury for the same reason we did that on Juhani. What powers do you have already? So you've already got throw lightsaber. And we can't do the advanced one yet because we haven't gotten that far in the leveling. Same with bumping up Force Whirlwind. But you got Disable Droid. But we can't get you to Destroy Droid yet. Uh, stun would be nice to advance into Stasis, but that's not an option. You've got Effect Mine, which we could put to Dominate Mine, but... Uh, that's only take a, you can only take that as the main player character. And there's the resistances. You got Force Valor, which could be good. Might not be a bad idea to bump that one up, but that we can't do yet. Bump up the Force Aura to a Force Shield would be nice. Uh, hmm. I'm not exactly seeing where we're spoiled for options either. I mean, other than taking some dark side powers, but seriously, why would we do that? Alright, so... Let's bump up your force shield. Alright, level up. Now we're at level 8, at which point... You get to bump something up. Your dex is pretty good. I wouldn't mind your strength being higher. Uh, we should be able to add one more from here, so... Ooh. Well, that's a tough one. I really would like to get your strength up to uh, 14. Because that will help with the damage output. Uh, dex is used to hit, and it's the same as Jahani, so that's always nice. Khan's a little low, but that's not really your job. It's going to be your job, but it's not really your job. But the rub lies in with a Wisdom and Charisma at 15. And I know I'm going to give him at least one, possibly two points during the getting him up to par phase of this endeavor. If I bump up his Wisdom and Charisma, he will be superb on the Force stuff. And I can definitely done the ever-living snot out of some things with the higher DC that he'll get from a higher wisdom and charisma. As much as I'd love to bump up the strength for the direct damage, I think I'm going to get more utility out of bumping wisdom and charisma. So we'll start with wisdom, since that does affect the will save as well, and that's probably going to be very, very useful. And we'll bump up your one skill point. And four powers. We can't get you to advance through Saber or Force Whirlwind yet. But we can get your stun up to stasis. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't. We'll shoot. Wound is a dark side. Stun, droid, stun. Stasis is not yet a high enough. Force whirlwind is not yet high enough. Throw saber is not yet high enough. 
I don't want to do the burst of speed. I've not seen much use for that. Uh, resistance is not an option. I guess it's energy resistance, because all the options I want to take, he doesn't qualify for. All right. Yay. 15 points of energy damage. Ooh. Okay. Except. And let's do this dance again with the skill. I don't know why they call it skills. You have no skills. I mean, dude, you're seriously lacking some skill points. Feats. All right, you are a surprisingly blank slate on the feet front, except you seem to be going down the dueling range like I was. So bumping that up to master dueling would be nice. That bumps up the attack and defense by one. So that helps attack and defense. Let's see what other trees you got built up. You got Jedi defense. Bumping that up would also be nice. That's a plus three bonus to all blaster bolt deflection rolls. All right. That could be nice too. Uh, weapons focus just bumps up an extra plus one to attack. Whereas dueling is going to get us attack and defense. So that's a negative. Uh, we're going to ignore all the shooting feats. Power attack would be nice. Although Flurry seems to be doing me better here lately. Uh, conditioning. Actually, I kind of wish I could exchange that feat for something else. Uh, ooh, implants. That's important too. Gearhead. No. Flurry might be nice. Forget empathy. much as I like increasing crit, especially since the lightsabers seem to have a higher crit range anyway. Uh, and we're not going to bother with a two weapon because you're, you're maxing out that dueling. And you know what? As much as I'd love to start you down the implant, power attack, or flurry line, we're going to max out that dueling because that's going to get us the best bang for the buck. So let's add that feat. Bam! You are a master duelist. All right, powers. What can we bump up? Knight Valor. There we go. We can get Stasis. We can get Whirlwind and Advanced Throw Lightsaber. I like the idea of Advanced Throw Lightsaber, but realistically, I think that uh, the Force Whirlwind's been doing me better than Stun. And... Stun applies only to people unless you're doing the stun droid. And as much as I like the uh, some of the other benefits that come along with that, like it's a pretty decent fort save in the last 12 seconds. And this one relies on reflex, which the enemies seem to have a little bit more of. But it also does damage and... Stuns them. Yeah, let's let's go for the force roll one. You have gained new powers. You. Oh, oh, that's right. He gets more than one power. Oh, goody. All right. We'll also take stasis. <laughs> I'd rather do stasis or a whirlwind. Why not both? <laughs> okay. Except, and we get to do this again to level 10. Bump up your lone skill so you can at least heal decently, moderately. One remaining power. All right, so we could do the advanced throw saber. Would be nice, because we can't bump up his heal yet. We can't bump up his armor yet. Might be nice to bump up the Valor or Energy Resistance. I mean, I really wasn't all that keen on taking Energy Resistance in the first place, but, uh... uh let's do the Valor. Let's buff the party up, right? And... To level 11. 
goes to 11. And... Oh, of course I set level 12. Uh, hmm. So we got energy resistance as an option. Or advanced throw saver. Let's do the advanced throw saver. Okay. And now to level 12, where we get to go. Okay, we're going to bump up that charisma. So we can max out his force powers. I mean, that is what the counselor is supposed to be for, right? Master of the force powers. Let's bump up that treat injury. Let's go to our feats where he gets master force focus and master sense. And we now have decisions to make. Because the advanced Jedi defense would be really nice. Plus three to... Uh, bonus to all blaster bolt deflection rolls. We're not likely to run into too many blaster bolts in the middle of a forest full of predators. Uh, last I checked, the beasties don't carry blasters. That's not to say that we're not going to need that later, though. So that is a high, high... Let's think about this. Weapons focus would get us another plus one to attack. But realistically, what I need to be thinking is either flurry or power attack or start the implants because the implants are going to get me even at just a level one implant. That's going to be able to, that's going to allow me to equip him with stuff that's going to bump up his skill options, his strength, his decks, et cetera, et cetera. So as much as I'd love to have flurry or power attack, I think I'm going to go with the implant, because that's gonna that's gonna give me the most, the best utilization for a feat. All right, what powers? One remaining power. Yes, we're gonna bump up your heal, unless we want to go to destroy a droid. Destroy a droid affects all droids within 6 meters of a target droid. Ooh. Disabling them for 12 se Oh, not permanently. Okay. Oh, wait, no. And inflicting 1 to 6 damage per level of the attacking character. A fortitude save at a DC of 5 plus level plus wisdom and charisma results in half damage. Hmm. I mean, he seemed primed to go down that way anyway. Now, let's pump up the heal. Having more healers around is usually pretty good. Except. Okay. All right. Close that off. Let's go ahead and save after all that hard work. I'd hate to have to run through that again. Okay. Oh, we can't even walk into your house? Seriously? There is a broken... Oh yeah, that's right. Those two guys that were Wrong talking about function. the party, right? My primary motivators are in... Ella, damage terminal. Playback calls you, Playback. Mm -mm. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. Eli, what are you- You got your money, you double-crossing snake! We had a deal! Oh. What happened? Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll- Wait, I'm getting something. Okay. Oh good, it's so Eli. So it looks like Maybe he'll Eli point us in the right is, uh... Playback. Eli, what are you- You got your money, you double-crossing snake! We had a deal! Yep. Shutting down. Primary systems failure. Start with the droid's head, removing it, place it in your pack, and energy discharge flows through the remaining parts.
Okay, so that is... Alright, so if you remember from yesterday, there was a dude being held by his boss. And it looks like the boss did the double cross. If you want more details, you'll have to watch yesterday's episode available on the YouTube channel. If you're watching on Mixer or Twitch, the YouTube channel link is down in the description somewhere. Ooh, money. I like money. And is there anything else of use down here? Just these little tack things. I wouldn't mind attacking the tack either. Although I got the tack lanes that I need, so that is another quest that I can co uh, collect. Did I just loot that corpse? I think I just looted that corpse. Let's double check. Oh. Okay. I guess I didn't loot that corpse. I did now. And what's down the other way? And I do not want to do all the walking, but I got a bad... A dire cataran. Alright. Let's do this. Leroy. Too easy. Quick. Hit him while he's stunned! Oh, friends. Kill him quick! Stun him! There we go. Are you little? Before we go any further, let's get everybody all healed up. There is another corpse, but first, we need to create another corpse. Come on, go after it. Don't just stand there. That is the downside to having more than other characters. Be your Get in the air. All right, who's got a few more force points? Yes. Heal the party. Be a good clerk. Okay, that should get everybody up. What? Beautiful. Actually, that probably is a pretty good analogy, isn't it? Ooh. More money. And... More money. Oh, that, that must be the uh, corpse of Eli's friends. Oh, well, they're, they're just paying me for the service of bringing the information back. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. So. I got a funny feeling that if I keep going down the Shadowlands bit, I'm going to run into this problem where, uh... Sorry, I thought we already eliminated all of them. Oh, holy... That is what a Jedi can do. That is what a Jedi can do. That is what a Jedi can do. Thought she had a wish. Be not able to heal herself more. Right. What? All right. Anyway, as I was saying, I got a funny feeling that if I keep continuing down this road, I'm going to run into Mr. Chieftain Exile, and at which case, uh, I'm definitely going to help him incite the Wookies into rebelling, 
Which means that all the Zerka people will most likely not be there. So while I've got this all explored, right? Yes, while I've got this all explored, I'm actually going to head back and talk to those two merchants and see if I can't clear up that quest. And maybe walking on the way back, I'll see if I can't turn in the other one. Yeah, the scrambled memory of the malfunctioning droid found in the Shadowlands reveals the violent last moments of its companions. They were ambushed, but identified their attacker as Eli, the merchant you met on the docking ring. It appears he had not told the truth about these creditors that supposedly skipped out on paying him. You know, salvage George's head. Matten would likely be... Yeah, likely? Yeah, he would be very interested in it. Alright, and I'd like to see if I could turn in the Wookiee Lost. I don't know if I'll be able to do that before I do the main quest or not. So it's going to be... So I'm definitely going to be able to turn in Honest Debt now. And I'm going to see if I can't turn in Wookiee Lost. Uh, I still need to do something about Mission's brother. I got the tack lands. I won't go flying out today, though, just because I know that causes some really weird problems. Can I return to the Ebon Hawk? No. I'm going to have to walk out. Fine. I'll walk out. Because I definitely, definitely want to make sure I turn that in and get everything I can. It seems more and more that I, I almost certainly took care of that one. It seems like as I get further and further into the game, there's going to be a lot of traveling back and forth from planet to planet. I'm going to see if I can find a way to disable the uh, video portions of that endeavor. Just because uh, I know it doesn't play well on stream. I just assume that. Oh, seriously? Just give me a little thing. Oh, sorry. I'll take you back to the surface, but you must be too close to us. Don't keep him waiting. Yada, yada, yada. Just take me back to Alright, I'm sure it's going to switch over to a video that you guys won't see. And it's flashing like it's going to, and yeah, it's pretty much the reverse of the other video. You couldn't see. You're standing on that wooden flat thing being slowly lifted up among the trees. Very dramatic. Ooh. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was a bit of a useless video transition. I'd like to be able to turn those off. I really would. All right. I just need to get back to the docking ring quick. Can I return to the Evan Hawk now? No, of course not. Alright, uh... Can I do Wookie Lost then, since I am already here by the village, right? Are you seriously not going to talk? Are you, are you that mad at me? Fine. Useless. Oh. Okay. I haven't actually played with that one yet. Let's do it. I'm starting to rethink that force jump. No? Nothing? Okay. Alright. At least the uh, critters have been... Uh, Restocked. Restocked. Because I do have the edge I don't know if the time it takes away from doing this, but uh, more XP is always nice. Excuse me, ugly lady. Dude, what, what do we gotta do to get your defense up? 
Yeah, I was gonna start throwing four stuff around, but I need to get my force points. Pool is running a little low. So we're gonna conserve those points. And there's the wicked guide. I'm tempted to run over there and kill them for the XP, but it's not enough to make it worth that far out of my way. Uh, which way was the village? That's to the supply station. That's to the village. That's to the dock. Okay, so, uh, ooh. Two things I want to do are at the fork. So let me go take care of the dock first. I know that's something I definitely can finish now. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. <coughs> oh yeah, alright. Refuse pile of nothing. The unlootable corpse that's still there. Backpack that I thought I'd already looted. Yep. Okay. Goodness, how many corpses are we going to find out here? Oh, we already found that one. Alright. To the dock. Let's go settle things with Mr. Eli. Just out of curiosity, you gonna say anything? If you've got one? business no. with Zerka Corporation, take it to the director's oh. office. Don't worry, I got business with Zerka Corporation. And I'll be taking it up with the office. Uh, doc, doc. So. I think you better talk to Eli directly. He's the boss, for the time being. Not for long. Hello again. What can I do for you, <laughs> most valued customer? Valued until you can't pay. Watch your credits. You hurt me, Matson. It's the debt of your crew that keeps you here, not me. Mm-hmm. I'm tempted to see what he has to carry just so I can, uh... Because <laughs> I never did do my shopping with him. Just to see if I can buy anything useful before I, you know, turn him in and things get kind of... Nah. Droid head. All right. I'm Kashik. Let me see that. It's nothing. I'm certain. Uh, uh -huh. uh, just garbage from the forest floor. Mere this is nothing. rubbish. It's DAO2, the repair droid from my ship. What was this doing in the forest? <laughs> what do I care? Is there a reward? No. It recorded an ambush. Somebody Eli, yells Eli's you name. You said my crew jacked the ship without paying the repair bill. Well, <laughs> oh. that is. Uh -huh. It's not how it looks. You see, a good mechanic is hard to find, and... And what? Yeah, yeah. I thought I owed you. You tricked them into the Shadowlands and killed them while I fixed your freighter in orbit. Alright, uh... <laughs> Get him. Release your anger. Oh, no. Wrong movie. Um, uh, no. Don't act rashly, Matan. Violence won't help. Now keep your was head, that It was just business. Oh. Ooh, light side points. Everybody's happy with that, right? And some XP. Hey, uh... Did he happen to leave any unlocked crates behind him? No? An no. alien bog slime. Do you know I've been here 36 days slaving to pay a debt in good faith? He won't last well, long I hiding. I could have shot out his legs and let him crawl around for a while, but I consider this far more merciful. It is. Uh, is there a potato well, shot? not much for me to do but stay here. I have no ships, so I may as well make a few credits. Yeah, it'll probably take a while okay. to convince Eli's suppliers that I'm the new boss, but eventually I'll buy my way off this rock. Okay. In that case, All right, what you got for sale? Actually, I feel like I owe you something. Here, take a few credits. If you spend it here, all the better. I think things are looking up. 
Okay. <laughs> here, take some money, and then spend it here. Uh... Oh, he's got the poison. Alright, I don't do... I don't do any of the drugs. Ooh. Dex plus three, though. Oh, never mind. Too rich for my blood. Uh... No. I got plenty of those. I got a f plenty of those. Nobody's doing stealth anything. Electrical Capacitance Shield. Damage immunity, 100% versus electrical. Uh. The manner of release generates vibrations along the inside edge of the shield, giving it the less than complimentary nickname, The Tingler. Moving right along, since that is almost double the amount of money we have. Oh, strength gauntlets. Uh, it's a plus one. Although, man, that's expensive. That's expensive. Immune critical hits, always nice. And we got battle armor and whole oh, ten k. For ten k, better fight my battles for me. Beast required armor proficiency medium. Defense bonus of 11. I got a couple people that could use medium armor that offers a defense of 11. Especially since it still gives a max dex bonus of plus 2, immune to critical hits, and strength plus 1. Okay. Hmm. That is tempting. Alright, combat suit. I've seen plenty of those. Reinforced fiber armor. That'd be nice, but I don't see upgradable, so it's not going to do any better than any of my other people that need light armor. Oh. Maybe you'll, uh... Maybe you'll get some other stuff in stock. What do we got to sell? Med packs and... Life support packs and repair kits and... Security spikes. Tunneler... Okay, I think the this one use item employs anti-encryption software and electronic interference to improve the user's ability to bypass locking mechanisms on doors and containers. Okay, good to know. Uh, we got plenty of spikes. All right. Ooh, I forgot to see what kind of robes Mr. Joe Lee was wearing and what else we could do for him. We might have to take a quick stop on the ship just to see what we can do. Uh, either way, we're not keeping the Dark Jedi Knight robe, so we'll sell that. I'll hang on to the Jedi Knight robe for a moment. We definitely don't need the combat suit because everybody that can wear armor has better armor than a plus four. The Achani Light Armor might be useful. Struggling to remember it. I never did finish those character sheets. In the Zabrik combat suit. Pretty much the same. Light armor, defense of 5, max dex of 5. Oh, no. The Achani has a damage resistance of 15 versus fire. All right, in that case, I'm only likely to need one of those. So let's go ahead and sell that. Keeping the swords. The craft double sword does cold damage. Oh. Hmm. 4 to 14 damage. Damage bonus plus one cold. No, no, it's standard crit range, but it's got a plus two to attack. Boosted by the dark side. The craft favored weapons of fearsome appearance, requiring brute strength to wield. And the blades of this weapon are certainly effective, if not elegant. All right. 
Everybody I have that could make use of a double sword is either wielding a double-bladed saber or uh, two two weapons that are going to be a little bit better than the four to fourteen. I I think. Yeah, yeah, no. That is so tempting, but so. Uh, I might hang on to one of these double-bladed sabers, though. Uh, yeah, I picked up a lot of extra sabers. All right, let me, let me see what's in these lightsabers before I go selling them. See if there aren't some crystals or whatnot I could harvest. I don't need your standard blaster pistol, though. I do want to hang on to that guy right there. I don't need your standard ion rifle. Uh, bowcaster is 1 to 10. The disruptor rifle is 1 to 6. Oh yeah, I so don't need that disruptor rifle. Bam! Alright. Ooh, I picked up a light repeating blaster somewhere. That only does 1 to 8. The blaster cannon does 3 to 10. Same crit. So you know what? Sell the light repeating blaster. All right, I gotta thin out some of these grenades a little bit. All right, I'm hanging onto the shields. I got some motion detection goggles, which could be good. Nerve belt amplifier. Immune to mind affecting. I might put that on somebody. Oh, that's right, because I haven't gone through what Jolie's got and needs and all that stuff. So I'll hold off on the rest of that until I figured out what I'm doing, until I figure out what Jolie's needing. Um, big dex bump. I'll hang on to stamina bump. I'll hang on to strength bump. I'll hang on to. I'm not going to buy any more of those, but it never hurt to have them. Low. You, uh, that's a bigger dex bump. And it's not going to stack with that one there. I don't need that many. And yeah, we'll hang on to it for the moment. All right. Okay. Sorry, dude. I didn't buy anything, but, uh,. I did sell you some stuff. I'm not going to bother with the liaison officer yet. I'm not going to bother with the merchants or the guards. Because they almost certainly don't have anything new. I'm not going to mess with our card playing Yahoo over there. Let's go to the Ebon Hawk real quick. Because I want to find a workbench. But first... Let's see what Mr. Jolie has to offer. <laughs> Alright, so he's got Jedi Knight robes. Already. Okay. So he's got the best I can get him. Already. He's got a green saber. He could definitely use an energy shield. And a... Dueling shield, right? Yeah, okay. I could either get him a plus three in fortitude or immune to mind affecting. Yes, immune to mind affecting. He is doing the dueling, so there's nothing I want to put in his offhand. All right. There's nothing to give him for the hands. He can't wear... motion detection goggles because that counts as light armor huh okay but I can get his awareness up by two that's all I've got it's not much but you know what I'll go ahead and equip that and I can bump his con by one or his dex by one one really isn't enough to make that big a difference because his dex is already a 16 that's going to bump it up to 17. 
which is not enough to increase the modifier, which is what we really need. Same for Constitution. So in the interest of having a placeholder, I'll put one there, just so that way I know that that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's it. She's already got the robes and the shields and the Mandalorian stuff. She can't... Okay. Uh, ooh, that's right. I need to see if I can get a... One of those short sabers up to snuff to outperform the uh, prototype sword. So, let's just double check. Is that... That was fully upgraded. That was fully upgraded. And that should... Yeah, that was fully upgraded. Okay. I got a beam splitter. Which... Yes. I definitely want in my Mandalorian. <laughs> because having a Mandalorian with a more powerful gun is always good. I still need a couple more beam splitters for those two blasters there. Um, yeah. Both of those are as upgraded as they get. So, two of the lightsabers. Alright. So, there should be four equipped, and the rest of them are ones I got off of bodies, so... Okay. That had nothing but a purple crystal. That had nothing but a red crystal. And that had nothing but a purple crystal. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a trend here. Hmm. I'm half tempted to go ahead and hang on to the purple crystals, but... Or try to sell them independently, because I... I'm 98% sure that they are... Um, more expensive. That's blue. Ooh, he had a crystal, right? Alright, so that is one of the short savers. I think that's one of the ones I was working on. Yeah, that might have been it. So, uh, let's check this one first. Let's bump that in for a yellow, just to... Alright, um... Oh, he already had an upgraded one. Nice. No, that was his. They keep moving the, uh... Uh... Hmm. That gives a plus three to attack. That gives a plus one to attack. And Keen. For those of you not familiar with the D&D &D roots of this game, Keen means that it doubles the critical threat range. So from 20 to 20 becomes 19 to 20. So on and so forth. That is always nice. So I may have to rethink who gets what upgrades here in a second. Let me, uh... Other than the yellow one that's equipped, I'm going to go ahead and try to check all these guys. All right. So those are the four that are equipped. That one I've already checked. That one I've already checked. I've got a couple of short lightsabers. But the red guy's got nothing. The blue one was the one I think I was working on. And yeah, the yellow one's got nothing. So... Let me go ahead and upgrade that. She's already got a... Demind. That's an attack bonus plus three. That's going to add another plus one. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I think that will get her... Yeah, let's see if we can increase the uh, crit range on that. Attack and damage. 
do I want an attack bonus of three or an attack bonus of one and a damage bonus of one? That's a good question. All right, the Bondar does a stun, potentially. Yeah, let's bump up, crank up that attack. And what can we put on you? We can put that on you. Okay. Now mine is 6 to 25 energy damage, decent crit. With a potential bonus, an attack modifier of 1, 3 to 21, so higher floor, lower ceiling. No bump to the crit range, but a bigger attack modifier. He's got 2 to 16, so we definitely got to get his bumped up next. And hers is 3 to 17. Yeah, you can tell who I've been favoring with these things. Okay, let's close that. Let's close that, because we've upgraded just about everybody's. Now, let's go over to Miss Juhani and see. Changing the prototype. 1 to 10 with a damage bonus of plus 4 to a short saber. So that's going to... We're looking on... The left hand side of that damage into hit and I keep forgetting the mouse doesn't show up on the stream so that left one ooh, damage goes down to hit goes up so we're going from 7 to 16 to 4 to 14 that's a bit of a drop in damage but the two hit is going up from 15 to 17. That damage doesn't do us much good if she's not landing it. That's weird though. Energy damage 2 to 12. So per stats, that should be doing more damage. Because we're going from 1 to 10 to 2 to 12. Oh, put the damage bonus of 4. Okay, that's the difference. Without that damage bonus of 4. This would be this would be in the same ballpark. All right, let's go ahead and give her the short lightsaber. Okay. All right, she's got the Mandalorian heavy pistol which is 4 to 11, plus 2. Where's that uh, 3 to 10, plus 2? Never mind. You can keep what you got there, kiddo. Uh, this guy was using one of Bendax blasters because we didn't have a good option for him. That goes lower on the two hit, but higher on the damage. 16, 3 to 10, 3 to 12. Van? feel like I'm missing uh, context for that one. In a van down by river? All right, uh, hmm. Where's the blaster cannon? All right, three to 10 plus 16. Two to seven plus 17. I think that's worth taking the slight hit on <laughs> to hit. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure he's got, well, three to 10, three to 12. Except that's a bigger hit on the two hit. That's bringing it down from 17 to 15. Yeah, that's not worth the extra two potential damage. Let's go with the blaster cannon. Ice. 
right, he's about as tricked out as we can. We still got that extra pistol. Uh, I'm pretty sure Karth's blaster is already good enough. What about that assassin pistol? Uh, it's only three to six. Unless it's a droid. And we could bump that up to three to ten with an extra plus two physical damage. Uh, 15 to hit, 5 to 8, 15 to hit, 4 to 9. So we drop the floor a little bit, but we raise the ceiling. No special against droids, but... Oh, because I got the wrong one. 7 to 14. Never mind, that just made that a lot better. So, plus 15, 5 to 8... Plus 15, 7 to 14. No bonuses against droids. But some of that damage is physical, which means all the energy shields are not going to be doing anything about it. So you, sir, win the new pistol. All right. And I don't think that bowcaster is going to be better than what anybody else has that's running the two-handed weapon, or the two-handed uh, rifling. I already got a Mandalorian heavy pistol. What's he got in his offhand? The next blaster. That's probably one of the unupgraded ones. But here's the question: two to seven, three to six. Lower ceiling, but higher floor. So we're gonna do at least three damage, and more if it's a droid. You know, I did all that work to get these blasters, but man, I can't I can't get them upgraded enough to make it worth equipping on anybody. So I'll hang on to them. I'll keep I'll keep working at it. I'll get them upgraded eventually. So let's go ahead and in the meantime give him that assassin pistol. And I I didn't mean to close that all the way out. Alright. So I'm about as upgraded as I can get. Just out of curiosity, that's a... Yeah, no, that, that's I already got that. Um, she's as upgraded as she's going to get. Yeah, because he's got the Kalo Nord's battle armor. Which is almost completely better than that stuff we were looking at earlier. He's got Davik's armor... Yeah, no. He, he's already got far, far better than what he could possibly have before. Although, he can use the motion detection goggles. Except he doesn't do anything with security or demolitions. The awareness might be nice, but he doesn't do anything with security and demolitions, so there's no point in giving it to him. Um, he also doesn't do anything with security and demolitions. Why am I even looking? Alright, who does? HK, we already took a look at. We already took a look at him. He's as tricked out as we can get her. He's using Davik's visor, which gives her improved power blast. Yeah, that's better than any any increases on the skills. I'm missing somebody. Oh yeah, Z. All right. I'll do more once I get him back. In the meantime, let me sell off some of that junk. I have to have him in the party or the rest won't work. And I probably should keep her with me, but I need some distance support. I'm not going to be able to do more with unless I take him out with me. Same with Karth. Hmm. Yeah, let's take Karth with me. Okay. Oh, and he's probably got a... Yeah. I forgot we haven't taken him out in a while, so he does need to level up. Ooh, something's going up. 
Alright. Strength is nice, but it doesn't affect anything he needs. He is pretty much exclusively shoot him from way back there. So a bump to dex would be nice. Hit points are always nice. Intelligence would get him more skill points, but dude doesn't have a whole lot of skills, so... And wisdom would help with the will save, which would be nice. But one point's not going to be enough to make that big a difference, so... I think I'm going to drop this in Constitution because he could use the hit points. Alright, skills. What you got? Not a lot of skills. So treat injury it is. That's right, we did the two weapon fighting as best we can. His armor usage is maxed out. His power blast is maxed out. Rapid shot would be a nice one. Yeah, Rapid Shot's the only one that makes sense. I mean, we could keep going down the crit tree. That one would be nice to max out too. We're not doing the dueling because he, he's maxed out the two weapon and there's no point in doing that. Toughness isn't going to be useful. The implants could be useful though. Because right now we can't use any of the implants in him. Yeah, as much as I really want to get that rapid shot finished off, let's go ahead and get him an implant level one. Okay, except let's go see what we can uh, bump his con up by one more or his dex by one more. Neither one really helps that much, but I'll go ahead and put that in there as a placeholder. So I remember to upgrade that when I get the chance. What? All right. Hello, officers and patrolmen, and away we go. Let's talk to our friend, the merchant, so we can sell off some more of the stuff we don't need. Hello again. Welcome back to Eli Gan's outpost, now under new management. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> now under new management. Still keeping the old name, I see, though. All right. Right you what are. What you got? Sell. We're not selling the med packs, the antidote kits, the repair, the security. All right. All my Jedi have the robes that they're going to have, so sell. And all my light armor people have the best light armor they're going to have, so keeping the upgradable weapons, but the bog standard sword. Huh. But the bog standard sword that's got a better damage. From 1 to 10 to 2 to 12. Oh wait, no, because that's got a damage bonus. So that bumps everything up by 4. That's right, So that'd be like 2 to 11. So 2 to 11, 2 to 12. That, yeah, no. Nope. I almost thought it was going to be worth it. So, that's one of the lightsabers we're not using, so we can go ahead and sell. That's one of the lightsabers we're not using, so we can... Yeah, I really want to sell it. And we're going to sell the other one. We're going to sell the short saber. We're going to sell the other short saber. Uh... My blue crystal wielding friend has everything she's going to have, and if I need to, I can loot the blue crystal out of one of the existing ones, so sell. My green crystal friend is going down the dueling, so we can sell that. We're definitely selling the red. I'm going to sell one of the violet, and I'll keep one in case it ends up being where we want to give her a offhand weapon instead of the double blade. Keeping Bendax Blasters. We're selling these Bowcasters. They are nice, but not useful. And I like the attribute damage, but you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna equip anybody with the sonic rifle. Bam! Gone. Grenades? Yes, please. I want all of them. 
going to hang on to the motion detection goggles. That seems like it's going to be useful at some point. Uh, dueling shields, energy shields, keep in those. Much as I'd love to keep bump up people's fortitude saves. Yeah, no. Let's get rid of those. And let's get rid of those. Okay. Just for kicks. Did you add anything to your buy list? I mean, that I didn't already sell you? Reinforced fiber armor. Huh. Yeah, no. It's not worth it. Not for that money. Oof. You got some mark up there, kid. Alright. Let's stop poking around the store. Alright, and... I don't think there was anything... Yeah, no. Because we can't really do anything more over there. We've tapped out our quest list. Hello, guards. Goodbye, guards. Let's go see if we can turn in the questicle about the missing Wookiee. Alright, we've already looted the backpack. Lots of running. Back and forth, back and forth. Round and round we go. Corpses everywhere. Alright. I'll go past you as soon as I finish poking around the village and seeing if I can turn in a bit about our missing Wookiee. I don't know how well that's going to go though. Uh, just out of curiosity. Oh, that's an option now, huh? Nah, I still got people that are going to get kind of fussy about that kind of thing, so I'll pass that along for a moment. I might switch out the party for uh, Candorus and HK, who will be more than happy to slice in and take, uh, <laughs> take whatever we need. Because those guys, yeah. Hello, Mr. Guard. I know you're going to get cranky with me, something, something, outsiders. Let's go past that. You guys are not going to talk to me. And I missed my stairs. I was hiding behind the big furry walking rugs. Alright, uh, here's the question. Who do I go to? With the data pad. The lady who initially talked to me? Nope. You're right. I thought you were walking around here somewhere. Or are you over... Yeah, you know what? Let's just go in the building. Or are you the person? Nope. Are you the one? Yeah. Ooh. Mentor to one of our most promising... Oh. I don't want to rethink your uh, mentors there. Alright. Lots of unhelpful people. Haven't you guys ever heard of being helpful? I'm the hero. I'm supposed to be. Right. Mr. Keeper of the Law. I have some disturbing stuff. You know who owns this bolt case. Who belongs to Jarek, the one who didn't want me looking into this. Uh-oh. <laughs> How did you get it? Uh, yeah, I don't want to lay that down just yet. What's the penalty for murder? Wookie honor does not allow it. 
Look, I gotta tell you, I've been traveling a Wookiee and he has no problems murdering. When we have a murderer, the punishment is usually death. Uh, Alright, well, let's lay this out. I found the bolt casing on the corpse. Look, you seem to think that's a little more definite than it is. That seems awfully circumstantial there, good sir. Uh, okay. Bring him in. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can explain it too. Got the feelings I got the wrong companions for this one. I should have Bastila and HK so I could have the little angel on one side whispering all the good things in my ear and the little devil on the other side whispering all the evil things in my ear. <laughs> okay, so do you know why you're here? I won't answer. I can't. Must the other guy be here? <laughs> wait, 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 plead not guilty. <laughs> oh. Uh, is there no alternative to death as a punishment? There were circumstances that led to the attack. Perhaps we consider another punishment. It all depends on what was behind it. I urge you caution. This may seem like the right path to follow. But you do not know these people as I do. <laughs> Were there any mitigating factors we need to be aware of? Yes. Uh, let's start with Jericho. though. Yeah, that's right. You, you, so you're gonna take the hit? He was selling your people off. <laughs> Uh, no, he was not good and honorable. Look, buddy, I got something to tell you, and it's going to make you sad. Uh, dude. No, I can't let you do it. What are you talking about? Everybody keeps calling me a liar. Could I at least have a chance to lie first before you call me a liar? Yeah, I know they need to believe in him, but, uh... Um, <laughs> Dude. Hmm. Maybe it's a good thing I don't have, uh, Bastila with me. Is that what you want? No, I won't let this happen. Is that what you want? No, I won't let uh, No, I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. Information that will affect his trial, I must know it. Actual evidence. So is there some way we can, like, not kill him? Now that we're being all honest and forthcoming and there's mitigating factors and stuff. it is the right thing to do. We shall see. Thank you, Captain Unhelpful. As holder of laws, I declare Jarek innocent. I will see to your release. Good. Right. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that. Like, seriously. If you just give me a chance from the beginning... <laughs> oh, perhaps some of you are capable of honor after all. 
You're deserving. Uh, <laughs> deserving of your reward. Uh, what reward? As the person that discovered the crime, you were also affected by it. You would have been given a portion of Jarek's possessions, but he was innocent. Roy, however, was not. <laughs> Sorry, I can't roll my R's like that. Uh, he was wealthy. His family was taken by slavers, leaving him everything. You get one third of this. Or will receives the rest if he wishes. He's still upset, but he's young. Uh, where's the? No, I don't want the money option. I mean, okay, I want the money. Where, where's the? I'm trying to get light side points by refusing the money option. Okay, I don't see that either. All right, is there anything happening now? Nothing can help with. Crime is causing a stir, but it will pass in time. Some of us will be disappointed in him, but we have other enemies to worry about. Okay. I was trying to do the right thing, trying to get the right side points by turning away the money, but, you know, okay. Oh! Journal entry added. Credits received 400. I thought you said he was wealthy. XP received 1800. Yes, please. Light side points gained, and the data pad and bow caster, yada yada, were lost. Well, all right then. Reminds me how. Okay. We're at 89k, and we need 91 to get to the next level. That's. That could happen today. In which case, everybody starts leveling up. Uh. Hmm. All right. I really want to talk to him a little bit and figure out if I can level up my, uh, etc, etc, but I think I really need to get back down to the lens below. Alright. Let's go find home skillet and, uh, you guys gonna say anything nice to me? Yeah. Still all the out Dude, I solved a crime for you. I mean I got paid for it, but you know. Why do you bother me? Well, we're back to the speech dialogue, so clearly you're gonna talk to me. Okay. Never mind. You got nothing new to talk about. Oh, I'll bother you again. What you gonna do about it? Stand there and talk. That's what you're gonna do. Okay. Apparently Wookiees take up more space than you realize. Round and round we go, and back down into the forest. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we can get the next level finished. Really should take two people who won't mind me mugging that place. So Maybe John, tomorrow. you decided to leave your little hermitage in the forest and come help okay, us stop you're gonna the harass sun. the new guy. I guess you realize this gotcha. was worth coming out of retirement for, huh? Yeah, that's right, Sonny. The Sith are the greatest evil to hit the galaxy since well, the Mandalorians. And they're the worst thing since <laughs> XR Kun, blah blah blah, etc. etc. etcetera. Et cetera, et cetera. Lost me there. Are you trying to make a point? Look, everybody always figures the time they live in is the most epic, most important age to end all ages. But tyrants and heroes rise and fall, and historians sort out the pieces. Man, I thought I was cynical. Uh, alright. You're saying what we're doing isn't important, or why did you come with us? All right, why'd you Alec come with us? Tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually, it'll come around again. But I'd rather not wait that long. So <laughs> we do what we have to do. Okay. We try to stop the Sith. But don't start thinking this war, your war, is more important than any other war just because you're in it. 
That's an interesting it is important because I'm in it. I don't buy it. The Republic stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years. And if it falls, everything will change forever. Well, you believe whatever you need I bring to get news from the summer. future. The bottom line is we both Outlook want to is stop not good. Malik. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stopping him. All right. Interesting. I was not expecting uh, a little verbal sparring match. I gotta start mixing up my cast of extras a little more frequently. I keep forgetting that they'll do that. I wonder if uh, old man Karth is gonna pick on uh, the kid anymore. Fine. Let's go kill the thing. It's and it's worth XP. Is this seriously Time running away? Rumble. Dude, what you running for? You're just gonna die tired. Not old man. I give you upgrades. Oh. Did you seriously pick a fight with that other thing? How'd you like that? There you go. There we go. There's 400 XP right there. Plus whatever that other guy. Did. Everybody's back up to snuff. Are you done picking fights? Well, I started that one anyway, so I don't know why I'm giving him flack. Just being a good leader. Letting all the trouble roll downhill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already know. You're not going to talk to me. You're going to want me to leave you alone. Yada, yada. All right. Let's just get to the guy who lets us uh, bring this lift down. Some sort of gnat around here biting me, too. All right. Down into the darkness we descend. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yep. Lower me down. Yada yada. The platform descends slowly into the forest. Dramatic. With music. And a wipe. Because it couldn't be a Lucas property without a wipe. I know you can't see that because the video, but... Uh, it's not going to be worth switching back and forth just to see that. All right, there we go. Now let's go find that force thingy that Julie is going to let us through, and we should be able to get to the rest of the hinterlands. I mean, the shadowlands. Ah, same difference. I'm actually kind of surprised. We're making pretty decent progress on this. Hopefully, we can wrap this one up by the end of the session. Well, I don't know. It is already 8.30. We'll see how long it takes us to get through the last part of the Shadowlands and all that. But I definitely will need to talk to my minions after this and see who's going to talk about what. Preferably before they uh, start interrupting me in the middle of a quest goal to go. Hey, um, can we have a therapy session? I got things to talk about. <laughs> yeah, you realize we're invading the Sith base. Yeah, but I really want to talk. Yeah, no. But don't ignore him. Oh no, don't ignore him. Alright. I did go the right way, right? Yeah, okay, there it is. I was getting kind of worried about that. All right, old man, you're up. There, you see? Yep. Beautiful subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other oh. circuit equipment dumped down here. I wouldn't call it's that subtle. It's only been here a short while, but the book has been disabled it. You have had an easy time of it, though. So, what is up there? Others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It's all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. <laughs> okay. 
Alright. I can it? manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Uh, here we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of cash. As opposed to the least dangerous depths? Us, I'll wager. Yeah. Well. If you're going to talk about the most dangerous places, that sounds like a good time to talk about saving. Save. Yep. Okay. We got more of those tacks. We got forest and grass and things. And... A wookie fight? Fighting Mandalorians. Are they everywhere? This shouldn't be a contest. You should be ripping your arms off and beating you with them. Alright. <laughs> That's it. Beat him while he's in the air. Get him, actually. Let me turn you on this guy. And... Yeah. Because if the Wookiee and I are beating on that guy, that should help with that guy. Time to rumble. Get this <laughs> Alright, come on. I know Mandalorians have good loot. Go me loot. Ooh, strength gauntlets. Yes, please. Heal the wounds. Why, yes. Yes, I can. An attack from nowhere. Yeah, I, I know. You need to be healed. Shut up and let me heal you. I don't see either of these options as being anything about healing you. Alright. What happened? Yeah, I know. But apparently the game won't let me just jump straight to the part where I heal you. So, <laughs> that's no answer. I refuse to help, weakling. No, it means to heal you here. Well, I was trying to help you better the first time, but uh, actually, it, you are the most long. -winded race that doesn't speak common. Seriously, people. Alright, what can you tell me about your attackers? I've never seen their kind before, not even among the Zerka. You saw them armed head to toe, yet blending with the forest. I wouldn't call that blending, but hey, potato, potato. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and then again further south after the west branch of the path. Their speed was amazing. Not that amazing. They fought like outsiders, waiting until we were unarmed. They would not attack us until we had put our weapons away. They strike like cowards. I look into it. I'll wait here. I'm too weak to fight them again, but refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is sated. If you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. They are not worthy of life. And for them, where the bodies of my fellows are, they will only attack you if you are not armed. The cowards. Alright. Inside points gained, and I think there's still a couple bodies left to be looted too, right? Yep. Come on. Repair kit and a mesh underlay. Alright, all the armor I have right now that is upgradable is currently upgraded, but... I'm going to hang on to that, just in case I run into more upgradable stuff. And you have loot too, sir. Another Mandalorian blaster. I bet there's somebody that can make use of that. Matter of fact, let me just check real quick. Alright, 4 to 9. And I think that's a fully upgraded pistol too, if I remember right. Uh... So that could go in the offhand. Four to nine. Two to seven. Two to seven. Two to seven. 
Never mind. What about this guy? That is three to ten. Two to seven. Nah, oh. never mind. Keep it. You're doing good. Okay. Yes? Right. That's everybody over here. So. We need to disarm ourselves. So these cowards will actually attack us. And is it really going to be that big of a pain to disarm and rearm? And... That reminds me. 3-12, 3 to 17. Yeah, no. He's better off with the lightsaber. Okay. Nope. None. Okay. Unarmed, unarmed, unarmed. Close. Before I forget, since we're getting ready to go play with the Mandalorians, let's save. Alright. This is me walking around like bait. <laughs> Reminds me of this scene. I, I just recently did a uh, rewatch through the Farscape series. Oh, shoot. There those buggers are. You know what? Alright, they're not Mandalorians, so let's. <laughs> let's go ahead and arm up real quick. And. Arth's Blaster is in the main hand. And that funky Mark III is in the offhand. Okay. What? Uh, oh, I guess they're coming for me, whether I want them to or Keep everybody from continuing to get poison. And those things are worthless. But I get a level. I get a level. Sweet. Skills. Alright. Uh let me bump up computer use, because that has come in handy. Let me bump up repair, because that has come in handy. Let me get treat injury up because yeah, I need to keep that up. I really need to start getting some more skill points, but I don't want to invest in intelligence more. Not when I can do more with wisdom and charisma, especially wisdom, because that will help my will saves. And I get a funny feeling the further we go, the more Jedi we're going to run into and the more important will saves are going to be. All right, so I can cap off Flurry. I can cap off the implants. Move a little bit further down the power attack. Already got the master dueling. I've got force sensitive. Those come with the class. To do the master Jedi defense. That gives a character a plus six to all blaster bolt deflection. Uh, certain items may apply a bonus or penalty to this ability. So, from a plus three to a plus six. Uh, that's not bad. I think I'm going to get more mileage out of either Flurry or the Implant. I haven't run across any level three cybernetic implants yet. Uh... But, kind of useless if I run across them if nobody can use it. But on the other hand, Flurry is going to bump. Yeah. Because right now, it's a minus two to defense and attack. 
And that will have that down to minus one defense and attack. Yeah. Yeah, let's cap off the flurry. Ooh, what powers would I like? All of them, please. Alright. None of the main trees that I've been working can advance at the moment. So let's go ahead and add the advanced throw lightsaber. And accept. Are you going to now level up? No. What about, no? No? Okay. Or are you waiting until I go back to this? Sure. Alright. Alright, let's try the uh, unarm thing again. This time without running into other critters. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, and let's uh, save that. Just in case disarming was a bad idea. <laughs> yes? Seriously. Just, I just want to find the Mandalorians. Could I please find the Mandalorians? Alright. I'm going to spend all this time equipping and unequipping and equipping and unequipping. Okay. Alright. Deep breath. There is no frustration. Only peace. Or something like that, right? Ooh. Actually, that brings up a, uh... Keeping his weapon in the main hand. That can work in the offhand, too. His weapon in the main hand is 6 to 11, plus 18. That's a plus 18, but it is 7 to 14. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep the Mark III in the main hand, and then put his blaster in the offhand. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, you still get your gun. Alright, let's get this party started. Let's go! How'd you like that? You don't. Uh, did that dead thing just pop back up? Like, he was only mostly dead. He wasn't all dead. Because if he had been all dead, you wouldn't be worrying about this. Alright. I guess we're not disarming for a little bit. Uh, interesting. Okay. Maybe it's down the road a little bit further. Further on down the road, huh? Oh, screw this down. Down you go! What's the matter, man? Oh, man, that's gonna force jump into things. Oh, that's so useful. I'm really trying to, uh... Attract some... Disreputable Mandalorian. You seem to be taking a lot of damage. Somebody who's a master duelist. Wielding a pretty spiffy saber. Do not join up. This is not where I wanted to be. Okay, there are remains here, so let me go ahead and try this disarm thing again. Come on. Give it up, old man. 
None. None. And save again. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's right, I'm gonna need those things later. Oh, for serious. There's attack. Attack of attack. Where's the... There they are. Hello, said the spider to the fly. Oh, yeah. It's on now. All right. Well, it's on as soon as we equip. Bam. Bam. Of course, I'd have to pick the person who's got... Dual weapons. Alright, how do we want to get this party started? Let's stun you. And start the beatdown. Let's stun you and start the beatdown. You don't have a stun. And I don't want to do a power blast or power blast or any of the special stuff that close. Nor grenades for that matter. So let's just lay on the regular attacks on you. At least while we got at least until we get uh one of these guys worn down. Sure. Ah, time to rumble! <laughs> much as I really don't want him burning through his, all his uh, force points, dude's gonna die if he doesn't start using those heals. So let's go to Jedi Druid support. I, I just need to more actively manage him. Well, let's try leaving him there first. Alright, and something, something leveling up. Oh, strength. It, yeah, it's gonna fuss at me about all the things that I got. Things that I've seen before. Uh... Ah. Okay. Nope. What did I want? Chieftain in need. And the hidden hunters. No, I need it. Somebody leveled up. Karth leveled up. Alright, good sir. Let's advance your one skill. We've maxed out your dual weapon fighting. I don't have any level 2 implants right now, but having that at the ready would be nice. But on the other hand, as we can see, getting your rapid shot uh, penalty down would really help because then you could have thrown some rapid shots at that dude in front of you and it would have been less bad. I mean, a minus 1 to defense is always a minus 1 to defense, but... That's better than a minus two. Okay. Accept. Did you level up all that? No. Of course not. Okay. There we go. And what loot do you have? Ooh. A blaster and a data pad. Or a data pad and money. However you want to look at it. Another, 
A Mandalorian Ripper. Like Ripper Owens or Alright, no. And an ion grenade. And an assault rifle. Ooh. You guys are seriously gonna stand there. With assault rifles and pistols and speaking of which. Anything you wanna be toting? Three to ten, two seven no. Three to six. But it is physical damage. That's the big difference. Okay. Less energy damage, uh, which... Okay. That's a blaster rifle, which Karth really isn't all that into. But I got some friends that might. Alright. Okay. That's all that, and I almost forgot. Datapad 1 says, this request is in the Mandalorian language. A stump disabled the stabilizers on my swoop. A stump? Okay. I request parts before other systems fail. If the generator goes, my blending field will stop working and I'll be visible to our prey. This is a personal log. This hunt is no challenge. How will attacking unarmed creatures train us to use these Jedi toys? You want new warriors to learn? Watching a comrade lop his own arm off fighting a real opponent would teach more than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. The blending field generators on the swoops grant near-perfect camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? Ooh, so descent amongst the ranks. And Jedi toys... Oh, they're probably playing with some sabers. Okay. Good to know. Oh, almost forgot. Let's just go ahead and save that right there. Alright, uh... So... I should be looking for more Wookiee bodies to know where the Mandalorians are going to attack. We got the tanks. I don't see any dead Wookiees. Uh, I bet if we go into the bikes, unarmed. All right, here we go, guys. One more time, with feeling. None. And none. Okay. Yes? I didn't want to leave you in charge, though. Still warm to the touch. Recent use, missing. Oh, okay. Well, I could do nothing or do nothing. I must have missed one of the uh, ambushes. Is this where the ambush is? There are Wookiee bodies. There we go. Hello, my pretties. No, Mr. Mandalore, I expect you to die. Right. Equip. Equip. Draw those pistols. Okay. All right. Are you going to be my huckleberry? Dude, seriously, you've already taken damage? We got to find you some armor or something, man. All right. I'm attacking that one. He's attacking that one. 
Let's go ahead and take advantage of a rapid shot and get more bullets down range, because that usually helps out. This again. Okay, you get the heal coming in. Alright. Let's queue up a few more of the rapid shots there. Alright. Yeah, let's get a few more sure. flurries in. Beat him! Beat him! Finish him! Alright. That went better. What kind of loot do you have, good sir? Blaster, data pad, poison grenade, hyper adrenal stamina. Okay. Well, what kind of loot do you have? Just an assault rifle. Nothing anybody with me can use right now. And you have the swoop bike signal device. And some more data pads. And a ripper. Alright, so those are pretty much the same as what I had before. That is, yeah, that's the same, that's the same. And that goes to a swoop bike, and alright. Here's the question after we save. The question is if I put the signal back in the bikes. Are they going to jump out at me with me armed, or are they going to jump out when I am, if I am unarmed? Let's give this a try armed first, because yada yada yada, missing a signal device. Alright, replace the signal device. Hello, boys. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. <laughs> I have a habit of that. Appear to be a threat? Appear to be a threat? I will appear to be a threat all up your face. Alright. You get stunned. You get stunned. You get a flurry to the face. Because while I'm trying to do that, he's going to try to stun me. <laughs> Alright, and Karth is going to throw grenades into melee. No. Uh, let's go ahead and get the commander out of the way as quickly as we can. The commander's already down yep. health? We just started. You <laughs> Get him! Bad Mandalorians, they sure aren't worth a whole lot of XP. These cheap rifles. Come on, man. Give me something good. You're supposed to be Mandalorians. Beard across the galaxy. I'll take that helmet, though. Ooh, and the armor reinforcement. Ooh, and the battle armor. Okay, that's better. That's a little more like it. Let's get back over to Freyr. Then... Yeah, then let's head to this thing over in the southeast. Because that's closer to where Freyr is. It looks like there's two paths and... Oh, okay, well...
You asked for this. All right, old man. You can do your force jump thing. <laughs> nice of you to join us, Grandpa. All right. Everybody healed up now. Karth is not healed up. Bam. Now Karth is healed up. All right. Where's Freyr? Actually, before I forget, pretty sure that Mandalorian armor is heavy armor. Yeah, of course it's heavy armor. 21, 21. Seriously? That's a, oh, because the max dex bonus. Okay. And since Karth has a pretty high dex, being a ranged specialist, it ends up coming up to the same. Do the damage resistances make it worthwhile then? Resist 25 versus electrical. No. 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 Okay. I was hoping. I guess it'll be worth some credits then at least. I have a little critter. Do you know what you're worth off world? I mean, <laughs> you return. Have you found them? Did you kill them all? They were animals in armor with no armor among them. You ain't kidding about the no armor, but... What's with the thing about the Jedi toys? I didn't pull a saber off of one of them. Alright. The Mandalorian hunters are dead. I killed them all. <laughs> yes, see the trophy helmet from the one that gave orders. <laughs> Their bodies will not last long in the Shadowlands. That's a little dark. Alright. The taint of them, their cowardice, the force will consume it all. I hope this gives my hunting brethren peace. Uh, <laughs> I would have killed them anyway. Where's my reward? Ooh, that's tempting. Now, I hope it does. Goodbye. Wait, you've avenged my fellows. You, even though you're an outsider and not to be truly trusted, seriously, y'all have some serious stupid trust issues. You have acted as a fellow Wookiee would have. Take this symbol of my hunting clan. You serve them, so you deserve it. When you look at it, remember that we reward respect, even from outsiders. Alright. Journal, XP, items received and lost. And off he goes. Bless his heart. Okay. <laughs> Where did I pick that up from? Gloria, nerve amplifier. Oh, nice. Oh, the, the blade is the... Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's the symbol of his clan. Nice. Good swords, hard to find. Alright, ooh. Bother. It is 9 o'clock and I still got two more quests to finish. And then I can actually call this area cleared. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's more use somewhere around this corner, because there's almost never just one. No? I guess there is just one. What you doing here? More Zerka Core rats? Uh, seriously, dude! Even the heart of Kashuk, not free of your kind. It's almost feral after all this time. Calm oh, yourself, Oh, that's right, that's right. Your this friends. is the dude that I need to Don't save. Don't you remember me? Okay. This is, uh, Zalbar's father. After using the Shadowland, I remember only that outsiders... Jeez, people. Come on. Well, this may prove difficult. Nah, I'm not thinking it will be. But okay. Oh, he's got a poison? Pretty quick with the grenades there, good sir. 
Oh shoot, he did it. I ain't taking him anywhere after this. That old man dies way too quick. Like seriously, the kid lasts longer than me. I am beaten. Take my head, Zerka Filth. You won't get another chance. Dude, I just wanted to talk to you, man. I am not here. Chunder sends his regards, no die. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what the dark side option is. Okay. <laughs> I am not here to kill you. Just listen. Words of outsiders are tainted with lies. I didn't finish you off. Is that, like, I'm not here to kill you. You notice by how you're still talking to me? Ugh. That's enough. Just die, you old hairbag. Oh, it's so tempting right now. I'm so sick of this outsider, this, and Zerka, that. Do I look like Zerka? Do I have the badge? No. I cheated them out of their landing fee. I mean, I totally paid that landing fee. Alright. Do you know Zalbar and Chundar? Why do you speak the names of my sons? Tell me. Uh, Chundar sent me to kill you. Yeah, no. I came to Kashuk with Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner? No! Jeez, what are the jumping conclusions? Uh, no, he follows because of a life debt. <laughs> then he sees something of worth in you. Yes, I feed him and give him a nice warm ship to move him. <laughs> I will listen, cautiously. Gullibility has harmed me in the past. Yes, your other son. If I had seen the lies of Chundar, he would have been exposed as a slaver. Zalvar would not have been exiled. Yes, that's, that's what I'm trying to fix. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believed the older boy as tradition dictated. The shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. Uh, <laughs> I love that even though we're, we finally de-escalated this confront confrontation, that's enough. Just die, you old hairbag is still an option on the table. Alright, uh, why would Chundar want you dead now? Let's go over what happened first. Zalvar saw it first. He learned that Chundar was dealing with Zerka, leading them to our hunting parties. Chundar would blame disappearances on the dangers of the Shadowlands. Zalvar was crazed when he found out. He attacked Chundar with his claws. I thought he'd gone mad and shed his honor. I was bound by the old ways. Uh, <laughs> this bores me. I think I'll just kill you. Seriously, like, they're, they're slipping in the dark side option every time. Like, be a nice Jedi. Be a good Jedi. Oh, here's every opportunity to kill him. <laughs> every chance you get. Okay, sorry. Back to the story. The Zalbar was exiled. When did you learn the truth? A year later. By then, Chandar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deepest shadowlands. But even there, they followed. That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yes, I think I do. I'm sorry about attacking. It's been so long since I have offered my trust. Or accepted that as... Gee, I couldn't tell. Alright. So what happens now? That's going to depend on me. You will either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. I'm thinking you will benefit your people. There's a way I might challenge Chundar, but it would take a lot to convince people they have been lied to. Now, everyone is on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the traditions of my people, I might be able to gather support. There's a legend of a great warrior from old times. Spacco was his name, and he's greatly revered. I know, I've heard his name a few times. Spacco found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. Curious old Wook? <laughs> is that the diminutive of Wookie? A Wook? He constructed a vibra blade from the wreckage. It has long symbolized our independence. Only destined leaders have held it. Okay, Arthur, where is uh, where's the sword? All right, where might I find it? 
damage a generation ago in virtual battle. Here in the Shadowlands, he fought the gross beast. He sought a challenge, but the errant got him more than he could handle. He survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tale say it was taken because we had become undeserving. The hilt is still in the court of the chieftain. If the blade could be found, tradition could cast doubt on his rule. Okay. Bores me, I think I'll... No. Alright, just drive the creature. Where can I find it? Many have tried, yada yada. Nobody's lived to tell the tale. A Jedi came to hunt the creature. A proud and boastful young man, like many before. He also did not return. Thank you for instilling your confidence. The beast is cunning. It will not appear if there is an overwhelming number waiting to slay it. But if you gather in small numbers, we know how to lure it out. Uh, fresh blood will draw it out before Chandra's rule put an end to the ritual. Fresh kills were often left as offerings in the south of this area. I will try to find it. South of here. If the baby great beast is to be lured out of hiding, it must be done there. Using the other ways, you already have collected the body of a viper, Kinra. A few of them, actually. Such bait would be tempting. Find a way to display it. Thank you for that. I will stay here. <laughs> I'll s you go fight the beast that has killed other Jedi and great warriors of renown. I'll stay here and think on things for a while. Is that what I got? I think that's what I got. Like, you go kill the beast. I'll be right here. Okay. Seriously, people. Old man, I'm about this close to kicking you out of this party. I just want you to know. All right, and this is the wrong way. Oh, there's some XP around the corner. Don't just stand there, attack it. Took one turn too many. Okay. This is the way I wanted to go. Alright. Trying to watch the map and walk at the same time. That's not helping too much. It's kind of like trying to drive and read a cell phone or something. Alright. Here we go. This is it. Alright. So I got about this here and the ritual marker. And you know what, before I summon the beast, since one of my companions has this habit of dying early, go ahead and save right here. Saving. Alright. There are ancient symbols here, worn, through, traced by generations of Wookiee claws. Layers of moss and dirt suggest that no one has been here in many years. The beast comes when summoned if you are generous. It comes to battle if you are worthy and wise. It grants you glory if you are fearsome and brave. Feed the beast and it will heed your call. Take vipers from their... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, this was once a place of great ritual importance. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay. Oh, there we go. Dangling vine. Now will you hang the body? The ground beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been so Thank you. Tie the corpse to the vine. <laughs> the creature is easily wrapped in the vine, which doesn't distort at all under the weight. The only movement is a rustling from off in the distance. Hello, beastie. Oh, I saw you earlier. You're chasing some Zerka folk. Alright, Force Whirlwind. And to those. And you know what? Now you got some beneficial stuff to do though, right? Not energy resistance. 
Night Valor could definitely be called for. Said Night Valor could definitely be called for. Maybe a force shield. And then we'll leave that heal up ready to go. Throw your damn saber at the creature and then go. <laughs> and you good sir. Shots down range. Quick. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I forgot I had grenades. Sure, it would be nice to remember that you had some grenades. Plasma grenades sound nice. Ready? Oh. Seriously? Fine. <laughs> How you like that? Oh. This thing likes the trick bags, doesn't it? <laughs> Examining the corpse of this great beast, you find a blade of some sort lodged in the side. Its skin has grown around it. Huh. While certainly painful, it appears the blade caused only surface damage to the creature. Who knows how long it lived with this injury. What did I kill? John Wick, a Kashuk? You removed the blade from the corpse. It must be the one that Ferris spoke of. The lost portion of Bacchus' sword, a powerful symbol of his people. Well, it's a powerful symbol, but it sure ain't a powerful sword. Okay. Alright, and let's heal a little bit. That should top everybody off, and there should be more to the core. Yeah, what else do we have in the remains? Gun Han's journal, and a circlet of Suresh. Alright. What in the world did I pick up? There's Baka's sword blade. This is part of Bacchus Ceremonial Blade, damage due to the arrogance of Chieftain Rolorora. He underestimated a creature in the Shadowlands, later dubbed the Great Beast, and lost the blade in its hide. The hilt remains in his court, yada yada. Okay. This data pad was recovered from the remains of a Terran Tech. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, and Kashuk and must have been devoured <laughs> by the beast. It appears to be the personal journal of Gun Han Suresh. The last entry explains what he was doing on Kashuk. Duran and Shalea have given in to their passion for each other and are doomed to fall to the dark side. I've tried to warn them against expressing their love. But they called me arrogant and accused me, me, of being the one on the dark path. I left the fools on Korriban. What? I... I'm not an arrogant dark side son of a Sith, so I left them on Korriban? Hmm. Let's think about that one for a second. But I am not about to abandon the mandate given... Me by the Jedi Council. I will destroy the Terran whenever I find them. I have heard a rumor such a beast may exist in the Shadowlands of Kashuk. I shall go there and slay the beast, proving that I do not need either Duran or Shayla with me to defeat these creatures. I got news for you, buddy. All right. Ooh. Plus five wisdom. Restricted to the light side, not usable by Wookiees. Flavor text abound. Holy mother of flavor text, Batman. All right, deep breath. I'm going to read this since this is 20 minutes past when I really need to end the stream since I got to be up at four in the morning for work. I, I guess I'll uh, save it and stop it here. It is suspended in the middle of the depths of the Shadowlands. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, anyway. I am going to go find this star map before I turn the sword blade into uh, Chieftain River. All right. The wealthy Suresh family of Terrace were one, uh, of Terrace. Well, <laughs> of the planet formerly known as Terrace. 
uh, were once known as much for their arrogance and cruelty. <laughs> oh, really? As for their vast riches and political power, but over the last century, many of the family have shown a strong affinity to the Force and been taken in by Jedi for training. Foremost among these was Gun Han Suresh, heir to the family fortune. To celebrate Gun Han's acceptance into the Order, his father commissioned the crafting of a powerful headband, the Circlet of Suresh, to prevent this spectacular gift from leading his son down the path of arrogance and pride. Oh, sorry. I got news for you, good sir. An all too real possibility given the Suresh family history, the circlet was fashioned so that only one who is a true servant of the light can use it. The circlet was in Gun Han's possession when he disappeared shortly after the time of the Great Hunt. Alright. So, I lose plus three to Will. And I lose plus two to awareness, which if I remember right is keyed off of wisdom. So plus five to wisdom. That's going to bump my wisdom based skills by at least two, possibly three. I'd have to double check what my wisdom score is. Uh, so it's a minor hit to will, but a definite equal to awareness. You know what? I get more out of the wisdom, though, than just the will and awareness, because that's where a lot of the force points and DC and stuff like that come from. So, yes, please. I will take the circlet of Suresh. Uh, will plus two, will plus three, and awareness. Uh, yeah, you could stand to be a little more aware. You, I ain't giving jack. You do nothing but die, old man. Uh, maybe if I gave you some strength gauntlets, would that help? Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to give you the strength gauntlets. I'm going to go see if one of my other Jedi need it first, because uh, those strength gauntlets are only going to add plus one. And your strength is only 12 to begin with. No. All right, Wisdom up to 18. So yeah, that brings it to a plus four, which is always nice. All right, there's no new items. What are you flashing at me about? We got the Chieftain in need. We just need the star map. All right, save the game, save the game. Are you sure you want to overwrite the save? Yes, I'm sure I want to overwrite the save game. So, real quick to recap, before I call this a day, I've finished up this area here where we've done the ritual. I'm going to head over south of the swoop bikes because that's the only place left on the map and I'm pretty sure that's where the star map thingy is. And if I thought that was going to be quick, I'm pretty sure it's not. If I thought that was going to be quick, I'd go ahead and do it, but it is 20 after 9 and I still gotta get ready for work tomorrow so I did save that right you know what let's go ahead and save it again just to be sure <laughs> yeah I know I know all right and if I can remember which button that is there that takes me there and this is where I say thank you for joining me. Sorry it ran a little bit late and the start was a little rough, but we got it going in the end. We almost finished up with Kashik, so I guess we'll do free Kashik part two next week. We play games revisited Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I'm pretty sure that's minus four UTC. Uh, Google or Bing can definitely help with that math. Uh, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Thursdays. If you get some value out of the show, if you want to help support the channel, live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can leave a tip or donation or, you know, whatever uh, whatever way you want to phrase that that, uh, that that fits what you're trying to do. Because, again, I'm trying to do this on a value for value. So if you get value out of this, give a little back. 
And if you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, all the archives are on the YouTube channel. Link is down below in the description. Don't forget to follow on Twitch or Mixer so you get notified when I go live again. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I do other shows too. Right now, the other show that I got going is Coffee Craft. It is a Minecraft Let's Play survival on a collective server. The three founding members are going through season zero right now. That it would be myself, Arcadius, and Rayest. The founding members were going through season zero, setting stuff up. So if you want to get in early, if you want to say, I was there at season zero when the whole thing started. Watch along Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. So Tuesdays, Coffee Craft, that's our Minecraft game. Thursdays, Games Revisited, right now going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. All, all the likes and thumbs ups and follows and subs and things galore. Have fun. Enjoy. Hope to see you next week.